Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. In this lesson, we're going to explore additional performance boosts which you can apply to your Elementor website. As well as ensuring that we're using best practice when creating our website layouts and always optimizing our images, there are many other factors which will help improve your website's performance. In this lesson, we're going to cover optimized DOM output, improved asset loading, use of a lightweight theme, removing unused themes, removing unnecessary plugins, and keeping your plugins up to date. Feel free to use the timestamps in the description below to jump to these sections. Let's get started with the optimized DOM output. The optimized DOM output experiment aims to boost performance by reducing the amount of wrapper elements present in Elementor's HTML code. To enable this feature, navigate your way to Elementor, Settings, Experiments tab, Optimize DOM output, and set this to active. Whilst this feature is perfectly fine to use on new sites, for existing sites you would need to check the output of your website as this feature includes some markup changes. Specifically, if you've used custom code in your website, we advise you to experiment with this feature. Improved asset loading is a process that aims to boost a website's front-end efficiency by only loading the functionalities that each page needs. This is currently an experiment and defaults to loading less JavaScript, which results in faster page load times and higher page speed scores. This can result in substantial JavaScript file size reduction by loading sections of the infrastructure JavaScript code only when required on the page. Furthermore, by breaking down the loading process into smaller chunks, users of HTTP2 pages can benefit from faster loading thanks to multiplexing, which enables a browser to request all properties at the same time. As a consequence, there is a significant increase in efficiency. To enable this feature, set it to active. Moving away from the Experiments tab, now we're going to explore what we can do with our theme to ensure more efficient website performance. One of the most appealing things about WordPress is the vast collection of both free and premium themes which are available. Whilst this is certainly a positive factor for many users, with so many themes available, there are bound to be many which are poorly developed and in many cases bloated with features which most users do not require, all of which will contribute to slower performance. When starting a website project, it's generally a good idea to research a lightweight, user-friendly theme which allows for full customization. Enter the Hello Elementor theme. Our developers have spent enormous amounts of time planning and developing this extremely lightweight theme, and you can download it for free from the WordPress theme repository. The Hello Elementor theme excels at performance, and as you can see on this fresh installation of WordPress, we're achieving some very impressive performance results. The Hello Elementor theme provides you with a blank canvas to create your website. It seamlessly integrates with Elementor and Elementor Pro, and as you can see from these Lighthouse results, it's a great choice for any website creator who is concerned about website performance. Whilst we're in our theme area, this is also a good opportunity to do a little housekeeping. With every major release of WordPress, a new theme is automatically installed. It can be very helpful while debugging issues to have a WordPress developed theme installed in case you ever need to switch, but there's really no need to keep multiple themes for this occasion. To remove unused themes, simply select them and then press delete. We'll move on from WordPress themes to WordPress plugins now, which happen to be the culprit of many slow websites. Very much like the extensive collection of themes which are available, there are equally just as many plugins which add additional functionality to your website. Plugins really are the heart and soul of many WordPress websites, and without them, WordPress wouldn't be where it is today. There are many plugins out there which do not help with website performance due to poorly written code and general bloat. It's important to review the plugins which are installed on your website often, and ideally you should use as few plugins as possible, as each and every plugin used on your website is another resource which needs to load when somebody visits your website. It's also important to continually research better and more efficient plugins to use on your website. 
For example, at Elementor, we've recently improved our contact form submission process and have now implemented a new feature where all form submissions are saved in your dashboard. To have this functionality prior to the release, you would have needed a third-party plugin to achieve this. Another example would be a custom code plugin. Many website creators will install a third-party plugin simply to add custom code to their website, like their Google Analytics tracking code or a Facebook pixel. But with Elementor, we have this feature built in, meaning you do not require an additional plugin. As a general rule, if a plugin is not being used or you can achieve the same functionality without a plugin, then remove it from your website. While we're looking at the plugins used on our website, let's talk about keeping your plugins up to date. Plugin updates are not something to be ignored. Well-respected plugins are run by teams of dedicated developers who are continuously improving their code base to ensure optimal performance, and more importantly, security. By keeping your plugins up to date, you are giving yourself the best chance to improve your website's performance and improve the security of your website. Moving forward, ensure your plugins are from reputable sources, are fully licensed, and keep an eye on the changelog released by the developers for a better understanding of what has changed with each update. By utilizing these additional performance boosts on your website, you can really improve the experience your website visitors will encounter. Websites are made up of many factors and working on each of these, even in a small way, can really add up which will further enhance your website's performance. Be sure to check out our other performance-related tutorials to better understand how you can make your Elementor website even faster. In our next lesson, we're going to take a look at the different types of web hosting which are available.